وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول A questioner asked, my beard is white and I personally like it like that. However, some younger brothers are strongly encouraging me to change the color of my beard. Is it obligatory upon me to do so? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, lahu alhamdul hasan wa thanao aljameel. Wa shadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah. Yaqool al-haqqa wa huwa yahdi sabil. Wa shadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi. والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد. Um, the hadiths or the narrations that have been transmitted from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that prohibit a person from changing the the color uh, of their grey uh, hair or beard they are not authentic. Those narrations are not authentic and they are in opposition to the authentic narrations. Where the Messenger sallallahu legislated the changing uh, the, of the color of your hair uh, or your beard, and it is recommended for the men and the women to change the color of their grey hair or beard from red or saffron, and that which is the most virtuous is al hinna wal katm. Um, and to stay away from black. The Prophet وسلم, he said in a hadith, إن اليهود والنصارى لا يسبغون فخالفوهم. The Prophet he said the Jews and the Christians they do not ch- they do not change. The Christians and the Jews they do not change the color of their hair or the color of their beard. They leave it grey. The Prophet said oppose them by changing the color of either your beards or your hair, change the color. Also the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said in the hadith, uh, إِنَّ أَحْسَنَ مَا غَيَّرْتُ بِهِ هَذَا الشَّيْبِ الْحِنَى وَالْكَتْمِ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, the best thing you could use to change the color uh, of your gray hair or beard is الْحِنَى وَالْكَتْمِ As for the prohibition of changing it black, it's in the narration where the Prophet Sallallahu Abu Bakr brought his father to the Prophet, Abu Quhafa, the day of Yawm Fath Makkah, the conquest of Mecca. And Abu Quhafa, the father of Abu Bakr, sat in front of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he greeted the Prophet. And the narration mentions that his beard and his hair was excessively white. Yani, كَالثَّغَامَةِ بَيْضَاءً He's excessively bid. فَقَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ The Prophet then said to him غَيِّرُوا هَذَا بِشَيْءٍ وَجِتَرِبُ السَّوَادَ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He said to him Change the color of your, your beard and your hair. Change the color and stay away from black. Abdullah ibn Abbas رضي الله تعالى عنهما He said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم He said يكون قوم يخطبون في آخر الزمان بالسواد كحواصل الحمام لا يريحون رائحة الجنة. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم he said there's going to be a people في آخر الزمان before the hour just before the hour they're going to change their beards or their grey hair with black. Those people the Prophet said لا يريحون uh, they are not going to receive the fragrance of Jannah. The majority or a lot of the companions, such as Al-Shaykhain, Abi Bakr and Umar, they changed the gray on their beards and their hair. Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu, the same thing. And some of the companions chose to leave their beards uh, or their hairs Gray and not change the color like Ali ibn Abi Talib and Ubay ibn Ka'b and Anas ibn Malik. They chose to leave it and they chose not to change the color. Whereas Abu Bakr and Umar and Ibn Umar and Abu Huraira chose to change the color. 
And this shows us the permissibility of doing whichever of the two. Yes, the pious predecessors, they differed amongst themselves which one is more virtuous. It is, is it better to change the color or is it better to leave it the way it is? But leaving off changing the color of your beard or the color of your hair, your gray hair, it doesn't show, yani the actions of the Sahabas doesn't show that it's disliked. All it shows is that it is not obligatory for you to have to change the color. You can, you can leave it the way it is. It's not obligatory. And it also doesn't negate that it's recommended. All that which the action of Ali ibn Abi Talib and Ubay ibn Ka'b and Anas ibn Malik can show is the permissibility of leaving off your gray hair or your gray beard the way Allah Taala chose for it to be, which is great. ولذلك الإمام النووي رحمه الله said واختلاف السلف في في فعل الأمرين بحسب اختلاف أحوالهم في ذلك مع أن الأمر والنهي في ذلك ليس للوجوب بالإجماع ولهذا لم ينكر بعضهم على بعض خلافه. And Imam al Nawi rahimahullah said the differences that we see from the pious predecessors in this action is based on their situation, it's their preferences. And um, the commands that we find that the Prophet ﷺ commanded uh, Abi Quhafa, the father of Abu Bakr, to change the color of his beard or his hair, or the prohibition that we see, doesn't really show that it's obligatory for you to have to do this. It doesn't. It just shows recommendation. Walidarika, some of the Sahabas who chose to change the color of their beards did not reject the action of the ones who didn't. And there wasn't a quarrel between them. Whichever you wanted to do, you could do. So it's not obligatory. And I stop there, inshallah ta'ala, with ilmu inda Allah, he knowledge is with Allah. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me, shaitan, and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdi ashadu an la ilaha illallah astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh. If you have any questions you'd like to see answered as part of this series, then you can email us at questions at amau.org.